Now, ever since he set foot in Albert Square on the arm of Tanya Branning, builder Greg Jessup has been turning heads. But he's not just a hottie, he's also a hunk with a heart. This week, women across the country will watch and weep as he makes an honest woman out of Tanya. Please welcome Stefan Bill! <laughs> Amazing, like suddenly I wasn't here and I just popped up under the did. table. I know. We, we keep you under there. You've been there for years now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, very, very that's strange. from Thursday's episode, so that hasn't actually happened. No, I haven't yet. seen that yet. You it's really nice seen to, it to, yet. to get a little heads up. Yeah. He's a bit of a himbo, isn't he? He's a man of oh, few Greg. words, isn't he? Yeah, but he's a he... man of action. <laughs> Is it, what, well, how would how would you describe Greg? Well, just like that, really, I think. You know, he's come in... He, uh, usually, I'm used to hitting the ground running when I come in with a, with a character, but Greg's kind of come in really nice and gently, and it's been really nice. You know, uh -huh. he's definitely been introduced as the nice guy in Albert Square, and it's, it's... Yeah, it's nice to be nice. It's nice to not be playing a bad boy for a change. It's nice to be, you know, kind yeah. of... Um... Straight. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, we went to the bill together, and I was, I was far from that. This were gay then, darling. I was very gay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is your second wedding, isn't it? Didn't you have the gay wedding Still on the Still got bill? a pink shirt in this one, though, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, but real men wear <laughs> pink. My, my husband wears pink. But, I mean, look, Janet's right, it is your second on-screen wedding, and last oh. time it was, uh, as you say, as a gay character, and it was all very dramatic. This time, you are straight, but it's just as dramatic. Will very. you make it down the aisle, as it were? Well, I should hope so. You can only watch and see. I mean, at the end of the day, though, it is EastEnders, and it's very, very high drama, and that's one of the reasons why I, I really want to be in there yeah. as well, I'm doing the job, and I love being there. So, How long has it been? Fantastic. What is their problem with Max? What is it? I mean, you know, he's such a nightmare, isn't he? I know, I know. And and she's you know, she's the father of her kids, isn't he? And there's always going to be that. There's always going to be that. He's always going to be in the way, especially for, for me, you know, just kind of... Because he's, he's always there, isn't he? He's always going to be there. He's not going to be mm. going anywhere anytime soon, so it's going to be a constant How struggle. long are you going to be in it? Because that's normally a little giveaway as to whether or not you'll get <laughs> there. It's not going to be, be yeah. Yeah. If I told you how long I was in this for, it would ruin my whole, whole, whole storyline. So it's tell me what it was like going into it, though. I mean, I've been on Loose Women now for, what, a couple of months, and I yeah. had to fit in. How has it been? You yeah, because kind of... I've fitted in quite well, but, well, you know, this is... They're too frightened to say... You're not shy, way. are you? No. 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 When, no. You, <laughs> when you... I imagine that going into East Ennis was a million times worse than just having to deal with easy. Oh, it, was, it was a little bit stressful on the first day, but only because we had minimal rehearsal time and it was kind of... You had to... That first day was, was quite, quite stressful because just knowing where things were and... Yeah. Even finding the toilet, you know, you had to, you know, having to ask someone. Do you feel someone, like you had a sign saying, new boy, new mug. boy? Mug, yeah. <laughs> um, but they were all very welcoming and they're, they're a lovely bunch of people and everyone just goes in, gets the yeah. job done, goes home at the end of the day and I, I think it's really nice. Have you had to change anything about yourself since, you know, taking part in the show? Because you are seen as, you know, this muscly builder or anything. Have you had to work uh, out? Um, I, I went on a diet, actually, when I first... Um, when I first got the job, because they said, you know, he's a building, you know, you've got to buff up. You need to be a, a bit buff. Bit. I mean, look at Steve, yeah. you modelled yourself on Steve. Yeah, yeah. you're man. Yeah. Isn't he great? Yeah. <laughs> Love your man, he's a lovely guy. Actually, yeah, speaking of that, I mean, yeah. you've obviously had to, pants. you have to. <laughs> Where are we going with this? Pants, rebranding. <laughs> Russell Brand had a whole new look. Would Debbie ever dare do that to you? I think she, she, she tells me what she thinks, but I think she lets me get on with it, and it's the uh -huh. same with her as well. We kind of trust each other to not have a, you know, it's not sort of turn up, we're going to go to a premiere and be like, kind of... <laughs> Has she ever got in you your know. wardrobe and slung something out, though? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially like the stuff Tell that you really love. Tell me your biggest fashion crime. Bermuda shorts. <gasps> I love those Bermuda what shorts. Colour? You know, those really, those really ugly fluorescent ones you used to get in the 80s? I inherited some from my brother. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they're the hand-me-downs, and I, and I just loved them. You know, I wore them to death. You know, they were, you know we had a million barbecues in them. I'd wear them to the festivals when I was a kid, and yeah. they were just there. You know, no matter how much you wash them, they still have that sort of reek about them, you know. Nice, you, nice. Yeah, they're gone now. I just yeah. managed one day. Do you, have any, do you have any, like, blokes always have, like, a favourite pair of pants, don't they? Like, and they're always... I'm wearing them right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, have it. Oh, yeah. What if she threw them out? When they put me back down onto the table later on... Yeah, I like the look. Yeah, yeah. we'll yeah. 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 <laughs> Debbie and, and, and lovely Tabitha and Ben, how are they? Oh, bless you. Yeah, we, we, Andrew and I meet up now and again. Occasionally, yeah. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're marvellous, they're great. And, um, Ben's and you've seen it all, now. haven't you, since we worked together on Dancing on Ice? You've seen the whole marriage, babies, and uh, yeah, the lack of sleep. Um, Stefan and I did Dancing on Ice, the first ever series. I was knocked out in week three and you got to the final. You were second. I'm still <laughs> talking to her. I did, I did come second, yeah, but we stayed in touch because she's such a lovely person. <laughs> <laughs> You're very Oh, Stephanie, yeah. have you got any body issues? 
Did I anyone say anything to you God, when you were younger that... Ache right there. No, no, no but when you were younger, like Sarah yeah. Ferguson said she was bullied when she was younger. Not bullied, but people were nasty. Not that are occurring, really, but yeah, I remember, yeah, because you were talking about um, mm. Duchess, weren't you? I mean, I think, um, yeah, when I was younger, I got I got teased a lot about how I looked because I always looked a bit weird and a bit androgynous. I think that's why I got cast as the, the gay guy on the bill because yeah. I you know, always looked a bit a bit girly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think you just if, if you're working in this industry, you've got to be thick skinned and you, and it's it should be like that. Everyone should take that on board. And, and I think has any of it ever stayed with you? Because you know we were all mentioning little little comments. Yeah, just... all, it can be just one sentence that stayed with you, or, or have you just put it all behind you? And... Um. I've put it all behind me, but it, what it's left me with, the residue it's left, is a real strong sense of, of battling um, for, against injustice. If I see someone getting picked on the street, yeah. I ask my, my dearest, she'll just, she's kind of, she kind of sees it happening and she goes, oh no, no. he's gone to sort someone else's problem out. Yeah. But if I see someone getting bullied or if I see someone getting picked on, I can't help but just wade in and just and yeah. separate it because I hate seeing people getting victimised. And I do a lot of charity work with kids, you know, yeah. bullying, and I work with Action for Kids at the moment, actually, you know. And that's it's a prime, prime example of, you know, people that are lesser, don't have the benefit. So yeah, if yeah. we asked you what you were doing next week, that might reveal what's going to happen to you already. Look at He's saying nothing. He's saying nothing. I can't, but I, I will tell you, it's, you know, it's high drama. It's EastEnders and, you know, it's... Um, I They've got a few aces up their sleeves. Well, can, few can I just help, help you out here? The big day uh, yeah. takes place over Thursday the 14th and Friday the 15th of April. So we know you're definitely going to be on her then. Mm. Lovely to see Stefan. Yeah. Stefan Booth. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> you're right. You are right.